Hey, happy Friday, everybody. It is Friday. It is not only Friday, it is the first day of the month of December, for goodness sakes. And today we bring you the Friday Five. It is the Friday edition of Five Minutes with Phil and the longest introduction maybe in all of history. I am Phil. I am happy to have you here with me. Let's join together and look at God's word. Please forgive me for being so ridiculous. Uh, how, how about this? Let's have a worry-free Friday. Does that sound good? A worry-free Friday. I like the sound of that. And we have a, 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 some good scripture for us to take a look at. Jesus' own words about worry. And uh, I, I think it'd be good for us to look at. Check this out. Matthew chapter 6, starting verse 25. Going to verse 27. Jesus says this, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all of your worries at a single moment to your life? I love the brutal honesty that Jesus gives us here. Jesus says, look, in fact, th this kind of is on the, uh, uh, on the heels of what we talked about yesterday. If, if you missed yesterday's five minutes video, we talked about being content uh, in all circumstances. And Jesus really uh, takes us there again with this passage of scripture where he says, look, even the birds, even, the birds don't worry. God takes care of them. They don't plant food. They don't store food. They don't harvest food. Uh, but God makes sure that they're fed. Isn't God going to take care of you too? You're far, you're you're far worth more, a whole lot more than a bird. And I think that's good for us to be reminded of today. That yeah, you know what? Uh, those things that really occupy space in my head. Uh, I really need to let that go. You know what's interesting? You know what worry is? Worry is stressing out about stuff that we can't control in the first place. And maybe that's why we worry, because we can't control it. If you're wired like me, that tends to be the thing that really gets to me. Is I can't control the situation, and so because I'm not in control... Uh, I'm not comfortable. Uh, as long as I can keep my fingers on everything, everything is good. And, and I think the Lord would want to remind us today that, you know what, that, that's just not, uh, that's, that's not how it goes. I take care of birds. Uh, in another part of this scripture here that we just read, he says, look, even the, even the flowers are taken care of. And, and you are far far more valuable than a bunch of flowers and a bunch of birds. And so what's, what's God wanted to remind us here today? Let him deal with the stuff that you can't control. He'll take care of you. He'll take care of your needs. He'll take care of what you eat. He'll take care of the clothes that you wear. God will take care of you as far as paying your bills. Uh, God will teach you along the way. God, God's got you. Now, some of us, you know, we may need the Lord to show us how we can make some better decisions, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everything, like we said earlier this week, all throughout the day, we just say, Lord, please teach me. Teach me about myself. Teach me more about you. But worry will really cripple your walk with God. And that's not God's plan for you. Not at all. And so, as we go into the weekend, on this worry-free Friday, uh, let's, let's give God our worries and our anxieties. Because as Jesus said, worrying will not add one single moment to your life. If 
If anything, it probably takes away from it. So let's trust God together. Amen? All right. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And uh, let's have a worry-free weekend. There we go. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you again on Monday. Okay? God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.